Nairobi. <laughs> we arrived to Kenya on Sunday and Nairobi is welcoming us with dance. It seems like everyone is in the streets, dressed their best and making dance videos. Another characteristic of the city are the matatus, colorfully designed minibuses that serve as a main mean of public transportation. Nairobi has plenty of nice cafes, like this one, Palette Cafe, with a great concept, employing deaf people and spreading awareness of their world. So I'm ordering cappuccino, and it goes like this. So you have a date with that for show? Double. <laughs> and if it's an espresso, <laughs> double. <laughs> everything is double. For me, everything is double. And uh, thank you, of course, thank you. <laughs> we then visit the Giraffe Center, that is neighboring the famous Giraffe Manor, where you can have breakfast with giraffes. We opt for this much cheaper option, and we have no regrets. It's surprisingly affordable, and we had an amazing experience feeding the giraffes from hand and discovering that they have a long blue tongue. 20 people are staying. <laughs> <laughs> the Manor. Wow, but such a nice experience, no? It was great, really, 100% wow. recommend. So, so cool. Next on our busy day discovering Nairobi, it's Kitengala Glass Studio. Hidden on the outskirts of the city, its garden is an amazing piece of art all made from recycled glass. This is the perfect spot. Like, please save it on your bucket list. Uh, hidden gem. It's amazing. Do you have the skills to blow all of this? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> After getting lost in their shop and having enjoyed a great meal outside, we signed up for a 30-minute course to get the insight on the art of blowing glass. Wow, it was such a unique experience, like for 15 minutes, one after the other, we did our own glasses. And so, of course, we were assisted with the expert, but so cool, like touching it. And, uh, and at the end, we could see like the pieces from yesterday, and they're still super hot. Uh, wow, it's so glad we had this experience, like we'll remember it. Like. It's very unique. So unique. On the way from the Kitengala Glass Studio, our Uber driver stops for us at the perfect viewpoint on the iconic skyline of Nairobi, where you can spot wildlife with the skyscrapers in the background. And the first wild animal we've spotted in Kenya was a zebra. Treating ourselves so good. Once again. <laughs> no, but we found another cool place in Nairobi. I swear, this city is amazing. Next day, we decided to visit Karura Forest. A urban forest with many trails, a waterfall and caves. It was not supposed to rain, just to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> Here we enjoyed a long walk in spite of the drizzle and treated ourselves to a great lunch at the River Cafe, a forest restaurant surrounded by nature that we can only recommend. Where are you taking me? <laughs> You're gonna see, it's super cool. In the afternoon, I'm taking Paul to one of gallery a contemporary art gallery hosting some of the biggest artistic names in the region. One Off is a very unique gallery, situated in a tranquil garden, full of beautiful sculptures. And the staff was incredibly friendly and hospitable to us, which made us feel very welcomed and keen to come back. And they have a super cute dog that you can play with. It's heaven, you should <laughs> visit. <laughs> We leave Nairobi and head west towards Lake Navasha, where we're staying for two nights at Fisherman's Camp, located on the shoreline. From there, we rented bikes, and the local recommended us a place where we'd have a chance to spot some wildlife. It started to rain, and we almost wanted to turn and go back to our camp, when suddenly, I spotted a giraffe not far away from the road. We decided to get closer, and soon we stumbled upon a whole family of giraffes. We couldn't believe our own eyes. We had been so close to these beautiful creatures in a very spontaneous and unplanned way. You have something to say about this day, Paul? The craziest bike ride ever. We came to this point and the guide said, OK, uh, if you go here, you might see some zebras, maybe antelopes. And we get here and we see giraffes. 
and well, we got so close from them. So privileged the moment with them. We had originally planned to visit the Crescent Island, famous for its walking safari with no predators around. But after this experience, we didn't feel the need anymore. We were so happy with the private and unexpected giraffe encounter. <laughs> we opted for a hike to Mount Longonot. Rising from the floor of the Great Rift Valley, this mountain is actually a dormant volcano. The way up is pretty steep and takes about one hour, but the view is definitely worth the effort. The crater rim also provides great scenic views across the beautiful Rift Valley all the way to the Lake Navasha. Completing the full round took us about 3 hours 30, much more than we had anticipated. Back at Fisherman's Camp, we're so excited to see the hippos just a few meters from us. <laughs> Apparently, they come out here to eat every night. How amazing is this? It was my dream, I'm so happy. And we see the whole family. Before leaving the lake, we kayaked for an hour and had some fun hearing the hippos in the distance. <laughs> Back in Nairobi, our glasses are ready. Wow, funny! <laughs> Super special! <laughs> Super nice! We will be heading to the coast in the next episode. Stay tuned for heavenly beaches and an island full of dangies. So you're a budget traveler? <laughs> Occasionally, luxury traveler. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just lost a bit of a paddle. Sorry about that. <laughs> this I come. <laughs> Don't be that funny. Please come back. You come, come back. back. Yeah, come back. Come back.